Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Delia and today I will be sharing to you the enzymes involved in digestive system. First of all, digestive process starts in the mouth. The presence of food in the mouth triggers the secretion of saliva by salivary glands. Saliva contains enzyme salivary amylase which hydrolyzes starch into maltose. When food enters stomach, gastric glands at epithelial lining of the stomach secrete gastric juice, which contains enzymes pepsin and renin. The acidic condition of hydrochloric acid in gastric juice stops the activity of salivary amylase and provide optimal condition for the action of pepsin and renin enzymes. Pepsin hydrolyzes protein molecules into smaller chains of polypeptides. Renin coagulates milk by converting the soluble milk protein, which is carcinogen, into insoluble calcium. Next, pancreatic juice is secreted into duodenum by the pancreas. Pancreatic juice provides alkaline condition for the actions of enzymes pancreatic amylase, trypsin, and lipase. Pancreatic amylase hydrolyzes starch to maltose. Trypsin hydrolyzes polypeptides into shorter chains of peptides. Lipase breaks down lipids into fatty acids and glycerol. Finally, glands in the wall of ileum secrete intestinal juice which contains enzymes maltase, sucrase, lactase, and irepsin. Maltase hydrolyzes maltose into glucose. Sucrase hydrolyzes sucrose into glucose and fructose. Lactase hydrolyzes lactose into glucose and galactose. Lastly, Erepsin hydrolyzes peptides into amino acids. That's all from me for today. I hope this video helps you to understand the enzymes involved in digestive system. So, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I hope you have a nice day today. Bye!